This is SAT test 7, non-calculator question number 11. College Board gives us a rational, gives us a fraction with rational exponents and negative exponents and asks which of these fractions with radicals is equivalent. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite so I don't have any negative exponents because none of my answer choices have negatives. And I'm going to work just with the x x to the negative 2 in the numerator is the same as x squared in the denominator. And I still have that x to the 1 third. Now work just with the y. y to the negative 1 in the denominator is the same as y to the first in the numerator. So that's y times y to the 1 half. Looking at how they write this, they don't want me to combine the y with the y to the 1 half. They want that as y, and then y to the 1 half is root y and they don't want the x squared combined with the x to the one-third. They want the x to the one-third as a radical, so that would be x squared times cube root of x. And this is choice D. If I combine the y with the y to one-half, that would be y to the three-halves, which is square root of y cubed, but that's not one of our choices. If I combine the x squared with x to the one-third, power, powers of the same base, you add exponents. So that would be x to the two plus one-third, which is six-thirds plus one-third, is x to the seven-thirds. And as a radical, that would be the cube root of x to the seven, which is also not one of our choices. So they did not want us following this path. They wanted us going here which matches choice D. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.